Well, hello and good afternoon, everyone. I think we can officially kick this off. This is exciting. It's uh, it's noon. Uh, we start promptly here at California Volunteers, and we are excited about jumping into this welcome. So hello, everyone. It's so great to be together. Uh, we are all on this call to celebrate you, our AmeriCorps members, our incredible, incredible AmeriCorps members. My name is Josh Friday. I get the honor of serving as California's Chief Service Officer here at California Volunteers and in the Office of the Governor. And we wanted to officially welcome you all to the California Volunteers and AmeriCorps family as you, as you, uh, as you are experiencing what, what we all hope is really a life-shaping journey of service. And just so you all know, this is the first time that our office has ever hosted a virtual event for all of our California AmeriCorps members to bring you all together in one place uh, so we can celebrate. Um, and we know that we know that some of you are just beginning your service. We know that some of you are in the middle of your service. Uh, and we know that some of you may be toward the end of your AmeriCorps journey. But today, the reason we wanted to do today, the reason that today is a special occasion for not just the governor's office, but really for the entire state of California, because as I mentioned, it's a day to celebrate you. And as we celebrate you, we also celebrate the fact that that you're part of something bigger. You're part of something that's really special about what's happening in California around service and also what's happening around the country around service. And you are, you may know this already, but the way we feel about you is you are integral to the awe-inspiring service community here in California. You're part of a network of more than 50 AmeriCorps programs that is administered by the governor's office through California Volunteers. So in addition to your program that you serve with, there's more than 50 other ones across the state, and they're providing vital services to communities at more than 1,000 locations in almost every county in our great state. Let me repeat that. You all are providing services to more than 1,000 locations in almost every county throughout the state of California. And we wanted to bring people together today to, to celebrate you, but also to, to really drive home the point that you are going to be forever connected to your fellow service members. You're going to be connected to all of these sites, the over a thousand sites across the state, but you're also going to be connected to each other, connected by a common experience and a common mission to serve, to serve your community, to serve your state of California, but also to serve your nation. And you're joining, you are also joining, uh, as, a, as a California AmeriCorps member, you're joining thousands of other service members across the state, including thousands of College Corps members and thousands of Youth Job Corps members. And what we like to point out, what the governor is, is so proud uh, to say and, and to make the point of, of which you are included, that when we combine all the service programs in California, you and our College Corps program and our Climate Corps program and our Youth Jobs Corps program, that we now have a force of service members in the coming years, literally twice the size of the Peace Corps in California alone. And that is something that we are so proud of, you should be proud of. And it's because Governor Newsom really has a bold vision to bring us together through service, to tackle what we know are really serious challenges facing our state and facing our country and honestly facing our planet. Um, and, and we feel like we can tackle those very effectively through service. And as, as a Navy veteran, I've experienced the power of service much in the same way you all are experiencing it now. I've experienced how it can unite people along differences, uh, of people with very different backgrounds, very different perspectives, probably likely vote for different people, but, it, but because you have a common experience, a common mission to get something done, you work through those differences to focus on tackling really daunting problems and honestly accomplishing great things together. And the truth is, and this is what we believe, is that you all are doing great things. You're doing meaningful things to, to reach the communities and the people in our state that need and deserve the most help. And that's everything from tutoring and mentoring, especially coming out of COVID with learning loss. That's assisting with food distribution. As we know, food insecurity has skyrocketed, especially since the beginning of COVID. That's including things like providing information on critical resources to helping communities thrive and dealing with disaster preparedness around the state on top of taking climate action, environmental stewardship, and as you all know, so much more. 
So we really think of you all as agents of change, agents of change in our society that we need. And we know that our communities are experiencing unprecedented crises. But the truth is, and this is honestly why we're celebrating you today, is that you have all stepped up. You've stepped up to be on the front lines, to make a difference, to roll your sleeves up, to dive in deep. And that, the fact that you've done that, that's inspiring to us. And beyond just your social impact and the impact that you're having and the change that you're making, we also hope that this experience is good for you. We want it to be fun. We want it to be challenging. And I promise if you're working hard and doing it right, it will be challenging to you. But we hope that in that challenge, uh, in that hard work, that it's going to allow you to grow, to gain professional skills, to build lifelong networks, and to explore your passions. That is also the power of service, to help you personally in your life journey. And with the support and resources of the governor, and the California legislature, which includes significant state funding for the first time to increase service opportunities. We are leveraging through all of the work that you are doing with your host partners around the state, nearly $129 million in public and private funding. And California volunteers host the largest number. We like to, we like to brag about this and we feel very proud about it the largest number of AmeriCorps programs in the country, which also includes because of the state investment that the governor and the legislature have made, the increased education award of up to $10,000 that many of you hopefully will be receiving. And we are making this, this investment for a simple reason. It's because we believe in you. We value you. And while we know, and, and, we, and we know this very well, this service is not gonna make you rich, it does inspire it inspires all of us. Your commitment sets example for your communities, for other Californians, and for the rest of the nation. And I promise you, the country is watching what we do here in California. So in our eyes, you are leaders, you are creating change, and we cannot wait to see the amazing things that you will accomplish in your service year with AmeriCorps, but also beyond as you continue your service journey here in California. So we are so proud to have you be part of the AmeriCorps family. And now we get to have some fun together. So I'm gonna introduce you to a colleague of mine, uh, Keegan Gillette, and she's gonna be guiding us through a, a fun activity that we hope really, really helps you see where you are making an impact in California and the, the extent and the breadth of the impact that you are all having in California. Um, and I might, uh, I might steal a little bit of Keegan's thunder uh, and spoil this a little bit by by uh, giving away the punchline, which is you all are everywhere. So take it away, Keegan. Let's start the fun. And so what we're going to be doing is a mapping so we can see everyone together and all the things where we are, we are across the state. So here is our map. And as you can see right here, we have a little ping mark of where our California volunteers office is. And when you click on it, we have a little picture below from the CV office. So what you're gonna do is right in this lower right-hand corner where this plus sign is, you're gonna put in your service location and where you're serving from. Um, we're gonna hope that this is mostly members, program staff, if you wanna put your HQ, that's as fine as well. But we are mostly focused on where our members are serving today. So if I was still a core member and I served back in 2014, I would put my service site, which was Aspire Rosa Parks Elementary. Down in Stockton, there we go, South D Street. And now I can put something fun so I can add a picture or a GIF. We were the cheetahs, maybe I'll put a cheetah. <laughs> um, and then you can put a little message from your program or you could, if you want to promote your program social handle, you can throw that up there or your own, whatever you want to put in. So I would say like, hello from Teach from America. And there we go. So there's my little ping and I can change the color of it. And then we'll publish it. So now on our map, there's my ping. And so now we have an additional one. So we will put this link in the chat. Oh, I already see them popping up. So go ahead and add yours, anything that you wanna share about your program, a greetings, and we will come back to see our map at the end. So everyone keep adding yours 
And we will see our final map at the end of our time together. So yeah, we're excited. Thank you. Take it away, Josh. Awesome, Keegan, really appreciate that. We are gonna come back to this map at the very end. So please everyone uh, put, in, put in your location. So and as we can already see, as things are popping up, that the impact of service is literally felt across our entire state. Uh, so appreciate this, Keegan, very much. And I also, I love, I'm watching all the comments people are, are putting into, uh, uh, into the Zoom. Thank you for those. It's so fun to see all, all, the, all of you across all the state and see how we're connected to each other. Um, so next, you all have a treat for you. Uh, you're going to get a chance to hear from the Director of AmeriCorps State and National Service at California Volunteers. And I mentioned uh, earlier that uh, California has more AmeriCorps programs than any other uh, state in the country. Uh, and the person that is responsible for overseeing all of that is Ah Mua. Ah, in addition to leading an incredible group of people at California Volunteers, is responsible for the strategic investments of over $100 million in state, federal, and local match funding annually to support the kinds of service programs across California uh, that you all are part of. And, um, and she has a really inspiring uh, and compelling background that, that serves as motivation for why she does all this work uh, with you. She's prior to joining California Volunteers, she was the program manager and acting executive director for the Hmong Women's Heritage Association, where she designed and oversaw programs aimed at fostering youth resiliency and also health and well being for focusing mostly on immigrant and refugee families. She's a native Hmong speaker uh, and a proud AmeriCorps alumni as well. She received her Bachelor of Science degrees in Spanish and Community Regional Developments from the University of California, Davis. I could keep going on and on and on, but I'm going to hand it over. So take it away, all. Well, good afternoon. It is so great to be with you to celebrate your AmeriCorps commitment. Um, my name is Ah Muad, um, and I, I'm, I am a proud AmeriCorps alumni of the Sacramento Summer Bridge um, Program. As the Director of AmeriCorps for the state of California, I am honored to lead an amazing team at California Volunteers to support the incredible work that you all do behind the scene. A little bit about myself, um, my family escaped persecution from the Vietnam War and resettled in the U.S. as refugees when I was nine years old. Our early days of survival in the U.S. depended on the support of public assistance and my very own personal and professional growth were shaped by the selfless acts of teachers and mentors who guided me along the way as I adapted and learned to um, navigate life in a new country. The compassionate service that I received from others exposed me to new opportunities and empowered me to become who I am today. While my service journey began as an expression of gratitude, I have gained much in return. A stronger me, new community ties, lifelong friends, and so much more. I hope your service experience will be just as special as mine. Just as my life was forever changed for the better through the service of others, you will also lift up the individuals, the organizations, and the communities that you support during your year of service. So together, over the next year, our collective goal is to strengthen communities and improve lives, um, the lives of nearly 180,000 Californians, including supporting 40,000 students to return to school and stay on track to graduate through tutoring and mentoring. As a force of 4,000 plus AmeriCorps members, your collective impact includes expanding the capacity of California's nonprofit organizations to serve and reach more underserved households and communities, expanding economic opportunities and providing resource access to foster youth, people experiencing homelessness, children at risk of abuse and neglect, and victims of domestic violence. Um, supporting communities to become more resilient through measures that reduce greenhouse gas emissions, conserve land and water, and improve at-risk ecosystems. And, mm. uh, um, and, and most important, but not last, but not, not least, ensuring low-income individuals receive due process by providing personalized assistance to self-represented litigants in the court system. Your collective impact and service is vital to the state of California in lifting up our most vulnerable and under-resourced communities. 
I hope that you are as proud of these um, incredible statewide to be part of these incredible statewide efforts um, to strengthen communities and build a more inclusive California. The entire California volunteer teams will be cheering you on um, throughout your journey. Um, and um, I am very excited and, and eager and looking forward to seeing you all in actions in the upcoming um, visit soon. So again, thank you so much for your service. Um, uh, my team is here for you to support you and reach out if there's anything that we can do to better support your experience. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for sharing all that and your story and your insight. And I know for a fact, everyone was inspired, as inspired as I was by your moving message and, and everything that you do. And I hope everyone, all of our members out there can see uh, the passion that the, the California Volunteers team brings to this work uh, and the dedication and the commitment to ensure that you have a positive experience and that you continue to make a difference uh, in the communities you're working and that you are by no means alone that um, that there's a whole group of people here and across the state uh, cheering you on and supporting you. So thank you all for sharing that. And next, I get to introduce a super special guest, uh, the person who is in charge of service for the entire country, it's the whole United States of America, and that's the AmeriCorps Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Michael Smith. Michael was nominated to this post by President Biden. Yep, that's the president himself and was confirmed by the United States Senate uh, in December of last year. He's dedicated, and hopefully you're gonna hear uh, some about it from him directly, but he's dedicated his whole career to social justice and to public service, to supporting underserved communities like the kind that he grew up in. And most recently, he served as executive director of My Brother's Keeper uh, Alliance and director of the Youth Opportunity Programs uh, at the Obama Foundation. You might've heard that, that name before Obama. Uh, and Michael played a key leadership role at his foundation. And in these roles, he led the foundation's effort to reduce barriers, to expand opportunities for boys and young men of color, their families and other underserved youth. He's an incredibly inspiring person. Uh, he supports everyone on this call and throughout the country and making us be better. We're so lucky to have him. And I promised you all that, that there were national eyes on what's happening in California. And, and the proof is the fact that Michael is literally calling and talking to you all uh, from inside the White House today. Michael, thanks for joining us. We're so grateful. Thank you so much, Josh. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Josh is right. I was actually uh, uh, here at the White House today for a, a meeting on uh, Puerto Rico and the work that we're doing to help them rebuild and recover uh, and, and grow our brothers and sisters in, the, in, in Puerto Rico. Uh, and uh, I'm so encouraged that AmeriCorps has played such an important role uh, there in Puerto Rico. Uh, for so many years and will continue to do so. Uh, but Josh, I just wanna thank you uh, for that warm welcome and for your consistent, enthusiastic and impactful support of community uh, and national service in California. It is no surprise that California is an innovator when it comes to harnessing the power of service to ignite lasting change. It, it does not surprise me one bit. Uh, it's no surprise that California has created a core that represents the rich diversity of this great state. Uh, and it's no surprise that California is breaking recruiting goals at a time when recruitment is a challenge everywhere across the country. And I am sure you know that none of this happens by accident. It happens because Josh, uh, because the team at California Volunteers, because so many partners that you work with and every single person that's gathered here virtually today, it happens because of you, because you commit to long days and sometimes long nights. Uh, it happens because you are willing to take risks and you never stop asking the question, is good, good enough? So allow me to bring greetings and gratitude on behalf of President Biden, uh, the Biden-Harris administration, and our entire AmeriFamily. family. I am so excited to celebrate your journey as the newest members of the National Service family. Uh, when you took the AmeriCorps pledge, you may remember that you agreed to take action in the face of apathy and to seek common ground in the face of conflict. And in doing this, you joined a special legacy, uh, a legacy that has more than 250,000 AmeriCorps members and AmeriCorps senior volunteers that are serving in nearly 40,000 locations across the country. Uh, you joined a special legacy and a storied history 
uh, that has more than 1.2 million alumni who are committed to getting things done for America. And not only getting things done for America during your service year or your service couple years, but I meet AmeriCorps members every day who have been serving their country in multiple ways, uh, whether that's in the White House or in Congress or in corporate boardrooms or in nonprofit organizations or in schools uh, who were sparked by their AmeriCorps service and continue uh, to go on to get things done for America for decades to come. You know, I think about the, the decade after Hurricane Katrina, uh, when 40,000 AmeriCorps members and AmeriCorps senior volunteers supported disaster response, uh, disaster recovery and resilience in Louisiana and Mississippi. I, I think about the fact that during the Flint, uh, Michigan water crisis, AmeriCorps members stepped up to connect residents with wraparound support services. Uh, and I think about very recently in the wake of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, how AmeriCorps members and AmeriCorps senior volunteers have supported more than 12 million neighbors by assisting vaccination efforts, working at food banks and helping students across the country stay in school and on track. People ask me all the time, uh, what happened to AmeriCorps during the pandemic? And I am proud to report when some nonprofits had to shut their door, when some uh, service efforts had to, to bring people back home, AmeriCorps members never stopped. When the going got tough, AmeriCorps members got tougher. And so you are a part of an incredibly uh, proud legacy and tradition. But what we found in this work is that AmeriCorps is at its best when we are not only meeting the needs of local communities, uh, but when we're also creating pathways and possibilities for our members and volunteers. You know, as I mentioned earlier, the Amera family or the Amera network is big. And so I hope that all of you will use this to your advantage. Uh, ask people where they're going, where they've been and how they get there. Stay curious and learn from people who have traveled in your shoes. Uh, making connections and building your network can play an important career uh, role in your career. We've actually learned that 82% of AmeriCorps members uh, who describe their service as a defining professional experience, uh, one that prepared them to deal with unexpected events in the future. And in our work, we often see AmeriCorps members starting off serving with an education program or serving with a food bank or serving with the Climate Corps. And then just a few years later, they're running schools or education policy organizations. They're leading food banks. They're working uh, for a member of Congress to draft legislation on climate, hunger, homelessness, and other systemic issues. I was recently in Maine uh, and I met a Teach for America alum uh, who was the first in her family, not just to graduate from college, but the first in her family to graduate from high school. And you know what she was doing now? She was working in the Maine legislature, driving education policy to make a difference for young people like she was. And that is the promise of AmeriCorps. And you know, when I think about the, the time we're in right now, this incredibly challenging time for our country, a historic pandemic, upheavals in the economy, a national reckoning, on racial inequity, soul crushing gun violence and looming impacts from climate change. When I think about the challenges that we're facing, I don't get discouraged. And the reason that I don't get discouraged is because during these years of unprecedented crisis, I've seen Americans of all ages and all walks of life join forces to help their neighbors. I've seen them come together and march together to call for change on common sense gun reform, massive investments in DEIA across sectors, uh, a new movement for environmental justice, cleaner air and water and green jobs for the future. Um, so I'm not discouraged because people like all of you give me hope. So thank you for showing up. Thank you for standing up and thank you for choosing to do the hard work of perfecting our union because it does not happen by ourself. Uh, the great thing about this, this, this country that we're in right now uh, is it's not finished. And we don't celebrate it being finished. We celebrate the fact that we all have a role in perfecting this union. Uh, this idea that the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. It doesn't bend by itself. Every single one of you in this historic work that's happening in California is pressing uh, on that moral arc and bending it towards justice. So thank you for making hope, making opportunity, and making promise possible for our kids and families across the great state of California. Welcome to the National Service family. I can't wait to be on the ground with you soon. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much for, for being with us, for sharing that, for sharing your hope uh, with all of us that inspires us, uh, and also just being so supportive uh, of this work across the entire country. California certainly benefits from it directly, uh, from your, your advocacy and your, uh, your, your championing of this work. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And 
just do us one quick favor. Our last ask of you is that you uh, you say hello to our fellow Californian, Vice President Harris uh, and, and President Biden, and, and thank them for all of their support as well. I will absolutely do that. No, you have champions, uh, certainly, uh, and, and Vice President Harris and President Biden. That's awesome. All right. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Smith, our CEO uh, of AmeriCorps. And now um, now we get to uh, have a little bit more fun. Um, I think, you know, I mentioned this was our first time doing this, a virtual uh, convening of all of our AmeriCorps members across the state of California. And uh, it, it pains me that we can't all be in person today. Uh, we will make that happen eventually. That is my hope. Um, but we do want to showcase some of the amazing work that you are doing on the ground around the state so you get a sense of of how this work is happening everywhere uh around california so let's take a quick look at a video that captures just a very small portion of the immensely meaningful work that americorps members have participated in over the last year let's watch Taking Very cool. Uh, thank you for that that snippet. And one of the things I was just actually thinking about as I was watching that um, and seeing our, some of our members from around uh, the state uh, is the fact that um, one of the most things I was most proud of when I got to, to serve, like you all are serving now, uh, when I got to serve in, in the United States Navy, uh, is how much I loved wearing the uniform, uh, the uniform of our country for, for what it stood for, uh, for how it was respected, for, for how it made me strive to work even harder. Uh, and just watching that video, you know, what I see is all of you are wearing the uniform of your country, that AmeriCorps insignia. It's a uniform of your country. It's a uniform of your state in California, and it's a uniform of your community. Uh, and there's a lot of responsibility that comes with wearing that uniform. Uh, but it's a, it was such an honor uh, when I got to wear it. I hope you wear it with as much honor and pride as I did. Uh, and it's really something special that you've stepped up to wear your country's uniform. And, and now I get to introduce uh, someone who wears the uniform with you. It's our final speaker, one of your uh, extremely powerful uh, and compelling peers, Kimberly Maya. Kimberly is currently serving in her fourth service term. Uh, so yes, you can do four service terms. We want you to sign back up. Uh, she is a team leader at Ameri AmeriCorps Borderlands in El Centro. She started actually as a volunteer for the program, but then she signed up to serve with AmeriCorps as a tutor for K through 12 students. Uh, and Kimberly, we're just so grateful for your service and we're excited to, uh, to hear from you, to hear what's next. Uh, and to learn all about your experience. So please, everyone, welcome Kimberly Maya. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And it's such an honor and a privilege to be with you here today. Uh, my name is Kimberly Maya. I'm from the southern part of California in a county called Imperial County. Not many people know about us or where we are located, but we are a border county with Mexico, which is where our program name comes into play. Our program is called AmeriCorps Borderlands. Because of our neighboring country, we have a very high percentage of English learners throughout the county. And growing up, I was one of those English learners. Like many people here in the Imperial Valley, my parents came from Mexico, and I grew up in a border town called Calexico. Growing up in an underserved community where more than 90% of people here speak Spanish, I wish I had the help that we provide to our students. As AmeriCorps Borderland members, we provide tutoring in English from kindergarten through 12th grade, and we also work alongside with special education students. Um, not only do we play a big role in serving our schools, but we play an even bigger role in serving our community outside of schools. Um, I actually started my journey with AmeriCorps as an ongoing volunteer for two years. 
And in those two years, I completely fell in love with the program. I love what AmeriCorps stands for. I love what we do. And I wanted to continue. I wanted to do more. So I officially became an AmeriCorps member in 2019, and I am currently in my fourth and final year serving as a team leader to our 44 members. And it has been such an amazing journey. Because of AmeriCorps, I found my love for teaching, and I'm currently in school to become a kindergarten teacher soon. And actually last year, I had the opportunity to serve as a member in the high school that I graduated from. And it was such a rewarding feeling being able to be the person that I wish I had to these students and being able to guide them through the same academic struggles that I went through when I was in school. And it's just a very special feeling being able to give back and serve the community that raised you. And just like I was able to become the person that I needed to these students, I encourage each and every one of you to be the person that your community needs. Know that the work that you are doing is making such a huge impact. Even when you feel like it isn't, trust me when I say that each and every one of you are making your community safer, smarter, and healthier, and your work doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you all so much for choosing to serve your community, and I wish you all the very best this program year. And I can't wait to see what everyone is going to accomplish as an AmeriCorps member and to continue to accomplish um, this year and beyond. Thank you so much. Uh, that was amazing. We love hearing from you, from hearing about your story uh, and also your call to action and, and your challenge to the rest of us to keep keep making the change that we want to see in our communities. Uh, and for everyone who's just listening to that, if you haven't been in Imperial Valley, you need to get there. Uh, you need to go visit Kimberly and check it out. It's a beautiful part of our state. So thank you, Kimberly, for sharing this. Uh, and Kimberly, I think represents um, what we what we think about uh, about all of you, is, which is that you are you are you and everyone in your generation and everyone that's doing AmeriCorps now. You're you're the leaders of today, not tomorrow. That you are doing the work now, literally, and your tenacity, your vibrance, the creativity. That's what we actually need in this country to move us forward to build a culture where, where people care about each other, a culture of compassion, a culture of care. And the truth is, and, and this is why we wanted to celebrate you today, it's because we need you. We need your passion. We need your energy. We need your vision to continue to push California communities forward, to make our state better. It's a continuous project, as Michael Smith said, and we need every one of you to keep stepping up uh, to make it a better place for everyone. And, and we're gonna be successful um, we know we are, but we're going to be successful because we do it together. It's the only way that change ever happens. And you are a significant part as an AmeriCorps member here in California. And we really want you to embrace and internalize this and hear us when we say this. You are a significant part of everything that the governor and the state of California is trying to be, which is a California for all, for everyone, where everyone belongs and everyone thrives. And what we can accomplish together through service through the work that you're doing is really special. It's really special. And we hope you, we hope this experience uh, is as meaningful as we know it can be. Uh, and we just want you to know how proud we are. Uh, we do want to share before we break, uh, Keegan is going to share the results of our map activity. And then I'm going to, I'm going to leave us with a couple asks, uh, some homework maybe. Uh, but Keegan, why don't you, if you can share this now, share, share us the, uh, the results of our map activity and so we can see what's happening all across the state of California and the strength of our California AmeriCorps programs. Yes, definitely. All right, check this out. So we started in Sacramento, the California Volunteers Office, but then we zoom out. Thank you everyone for dropping your pins and check out this collective impact, everybody. We are all the way north and Redding down to south to Calexico, from the seaside in Monterey to the mountains of Tahoe. Look at us all through the Central Valley and Bay Area, LA, San Diego representing. Boom, look at that, all over the state. That's all a big state too. Yes, big state. Here we go. Yeah, so this is everybody. And just think about the diversity. That's that's you all serving in in urban communities. That's you serving in rural communities, in small towns, in big cities, 
you are you are representing the breadth and diversity of the state of California. Uh, and the map right there is a is a small indicator uh, of how powerful that is about the network. And part of what we wanted to show and demonstrate on this call is the network that exists across the entire state that we hope is the network for the rest of your life. Um, as we mentioned, you are always now going to be part of this California service family. And our hope is that you actually stay connected to your communities where you're working, uh, but that you also stay connected to us at California Volunteers. But most importantly, that you stay connected to each other, your fellow service members, because that bond that is forged through service, that connection that you all have as service members in California um, is so incredibly strong. And it's something that you're going to carry with you for the rest of your life. So here's our here's our ask. Here's our homework for you all uh, so that we stay connected, so that you continue to build your professional networks and uh, and continue to have a, a group of people that are supporting you throughout your career. One is that you stay tuned in the next few days, you're gonna be receiving an email from us at California Volunteers, inviting you to join our California Volunteers AmeriCorps LinkedIn page. This is brand new. We want you to sign up on that so that we can stay in touch with you, but most importantly, you can stay in touch with each other. You can support each other uh, and you can be connected with each other for the rest of your lives. Two, for those of you on this call who are ending your term of service, but also for those of you who are beginning it can remember this, please register as an AmeriCorps alum with Service Year Alliance to be part of the National AmeriCorps Alum Network and gain access to special benefits, to resources and opportunity. And you can find information on how to do that on either the AmeriCorps website or on our website at californiavolunteers.ca.gov. Three, please make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at California Volunteers, uh, on our Twitter site, uh, which is at California Volunteers. Uh, to tag us in all your posts, to share your stories. Um, we live in a time, it was talked about earlier, that can sometimes feel very negative, very divided, very disconnected from each other. And your work is what inspires. It what ge it's what gives people hope. And we need to share that story. We want to share the work that you're doing to lift up others who might be looking uh, for some hope along the way. Uh, and, and I'll give away a little secret. There's there's threats of a TikTok channel uh, coming here in uh, at California Volunteers, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but please do follow us on social media and make sure you tag us. And then we want to tag you and lift you up as well. Um, number four, make sure that you send us photos and videos that highlight the amazing things that you're doing. We honestly, we just want to amplify the great work that you are doing so that it can inspire other people to serve, so that it can show people that when it comes to tackling climate change, we aren't powerless. There are things we can do that we can address food insecurity, we can address racial and educational inequities in our state. And you're and we know we can do it because you're doing it. And we want to show the videos and the photos that demonstrate that so it can inspire others. So please send those to your programs, send those videos and photos to us, uh, and let us continue to, to lift up your work and share your story. And, and lastly, uh, help us continue to spread the word about uh, the opportunities with AmeriCorps here in California. Help us with our recruiting efforts. Tell your friends and your family. Give us ideas on how to reach other people in your community. Um, there's no more powerful voice uh, in recruiting than your experience. You are the best recruiters for these programs. Um, and we want to make sure that, that everyone in your community, uh, everyone you know, knows about these opportunities uh, to have the same kind of experience you are. So in closing, I just want to I just want to give a heartfelt uh, thank you. Um, I want to say a heartfelt thank you to all of our programs, our amazing host partners throughout the state uh, that do such incredible work every single day uh, and have, have decided to, to take this journey with us in service, uh, to have service and AmeriCorps be part of the answer uh, to solving some of the things that uh, challenges we have in our state and to creating change. Um, I want to thank uh, the entire California Volunteers team who works tirelessly to, to make all of this work. Um, and most importantly, on behalf of Governor Newsom and on behalf of California Volunteers, thank you to all you members. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for continuing to take action. And thank you for being such an important part of everything we're trying to do here in California. Congratulations to you all. Welcome for those of you who are new. Stay in touch with us. For those of you who are moving on in your service journey. Uh, and now it's time for all of us to get back to work so we can keep changing lives. Appreciate you all. Thank you.